I don't think I want this. Yo, I... Yo, I... Where am I gonna put it? Where am I gonna put it? Where am I gonna put it? Yo, I... I don't wanna. Where am I gonna put it? I don't think I can do that. Where am I gonna put it? So as soon as Hoagie gets that battery working, we're set. I'm afraid not. We still need a diamond for the main unit. And your friend in the future needs power too, if she's still alive. Alive? Get me out of here. I like trees and everything, but this one has got to go. designed to run with something, more like a small rodent. No way, there's things in there that look like they've been there for years. Doesn't anyone ever clean this thing? thousand carat diamond can be yours today for the special rock bottom introductory price of two million dollars the number to call is 1-800-STAR-WARS don't miss this amazing once-in-a-lifetime opportunity hi there It doesn't seem to open. I can almost get it now, but Lardo is lying on the sleeve. Are you interested in particle physics? Well, never mind. Couch Potato Shopping Channel, Wanda speaking. Uh, I want to buy a diamond. That will be two million dollars. Do you have a major credit card? I have an ATM card. When I got it, it seemed so useful. Except for those beef squigglies, I got everything I want out of there. It's useless. No one will ever be interested in my design. So I'm ending my novelty inventing career right here in this tacky motel. How appropriate. Hmm. 
<sighs> I can't even do this right. Maybe I can help cheer you up. Oh, I can hardly wait. Why don't you try whistling a happy tune? I invented a whistle that turned your lips green. Nobody liked it. Ugh. Maybe some calisthenics would help. Last time I tried calisthenics, I ruptured my spleen. Ugh. Let's discuss philosophy. Okay, here's my philosophy. Life is completely pointless, especially mine. Would you say that existence constitutes purpose? Oh, who cares? Philosophers are all failures like me who couldn't make it in a real profession. Nice music they pipe in here, huh? It's from the Elevator Classics series. It seems like this one tune has been on all day. I've never been so depressed in my life. Hi, my name's Bernard. What's yours? Dwayne. Isn't that depressing? Gee, you look depressed. What clued you in, Brainiac? The gun was a good tip-off. I'm having a crisis here, a warehouse of anguish. I'm a novelty goods designer by trade. I've come up with some fabulous ideas. The exploding lollipop, itching powder gum, and reverse 3D glasses, to name a few. The problem is, no one likes my designs. I send them all over the world and no one responds. I just wish someone would say they liked one just once. Oh, woe oh, is me. I like your design ideas. Well, I didn't mean you. Uh, never mind. Not funny enough. Green! Bernard! What are you doing up here? Well, I couldn't stop Purple, and he's going to go out and conquer the world, and, and I'm afraid of what he'll do if he catches me, if Dr. Fred doesn't find me first. Uh, does that answer your question? Yeah. Hey! What's up, Bernard? Want to help me save the world? I'm afraid to leave the room. In fact, I don't think I can even move from this spot. Purple scares the daylights out of me. Why the litter box? Have you got a cat? Don't ask. How's your new band doing? Green tea and the sushi platter? We're doing great! We've decided to really capitalize on our strongest quality as a band. Provocative lyrical content? Volume, man, volume! We have a chance to win a Grimy Award as the loudest new band. We're pulling out all the stops. Are you working on an album? Yeah, we're doing a CD called Rap on the Forehead. I've got a few tracks hooked up through the stereo if you want to hear them. Have you gotten any airplay? No, we're a little too experimental for most radio stations, but we have a huge following in the club scene. Weren't you looking for a new guitarist a while back? Yes, but we decided to go with a guy who plays power tools instead. We can generate a lot more sound that way. That's great. Yeah. Can you actually use that bowling ball? No, Purple brought that in here after he grew arms. He got really discouraged, though, because he doesn't have fingers. 
How does a tentacle sit in a beanbag chair? Oh, that part's easy. Getting back out of it is hard. What do you suppose Purple's up to now? Well, he wants to take over the world, so I figure he's up to something devious. Pushing old ladies down the stairs? I wouldn't doubt it, but I was thinking more along the lines of politics. Well, see you later, Green. Yeah! Good luck in saving the world, B-Man! I don't need to take over the world. Uh-oh, this looks like it might work. Hoagie would really love these. No, the stereo would fall. It's pretty small. Wow, this is loud. It's too heavy. It looks too heavy for me to pick up. Aren't you Weird Ed Edison, the paramilitary nut? Why, yes, I... Hey, do I know you? Yeah, I'm Bernard Benulli. I broke into your house five years ago, kidnapped your hamster, broke into your piggy bank. Hmm, nope, doesn't ring a bell. But I can't remember much about that period anyway. My psychotherapist thinks something traumatic happened to me back then that I'm blocking out. So you gave up the crazy military commando thing? I'm much better now. I don't have those... those bad thoughts anymore. Now I collect stamps. That's quite a nice collection. Can I have it? No! I mean, uh, no. They mean a lot to me. Sometimes I think they're the only friends I've got. Nice hamster. Does he do tricks? No, he just sits there. I used to have a really smart hamster, but something happened to him. That hamster really should get some exercise. Well, that would seem to work down in the basement sometimes. But then he starts sweating, and then he gets wet. And then he gets cold, and then he refuses to work. Your dad or the hamster? Are you making fun of me? No, I... I get upset when people make fun of me. I just meant... Oh, it makes me so mad. I just want to... Relax. I want to relax. I'll be okay if I just focus on my staff. What happened to the old hamster? I... I don't remember. When I try, all I can think of is a flash of light and this horrible sound. What was the horrible sound? It was sort of like... Ding! Oh God! I hear it in my dreams till this day. How are the folks? Where Dad's in the basement doing an experiment. Mom's in the next room spying on the honeymoon. Ted's in the front yard. Holding up a bowl of lard? Well, it's a bird bath, actually, but it rhymes better your way. Well, hope I didn't get you too excited. Bye. Peace be with you.
creepy. Must be an Edison. Ooh, baby, what a man. You ain't hidden, precious. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. Excuse me. What is it? I'm rather... Say, aren't you Bernard Bernoulli? No, my name is Threepwood. Nice try, but I never forget a face. You broke into our mansion a few years ago to save your little friend. What did you come for this time? I'm trying to keep a tentacle from conquering the world. Really? How nice. I was just admiring your statue. Thank you. It's been in the Edison family since colonial times. One of Fred's ancestors carved it. This is quite an array of gadgetry you have here. Yes, it's the best surveillance system in the state. Do you think I could uh, play with these a bit? Well, enough about your equipment. Let's talk about yours! <laughs> I'll let you get back to what you were doing. Come back any time, you big hunk! <laughs> Time for that now. I'm saving the world from Purple Tentacle. I wouldn't want to strain myself. It's already open. I can see the roof and some crystal. I don't think I can do that. but useful venting device which prevents injury due to harmful smoke inhalation. I can't. It's stuck. I don't think I can do that. Question. Okay, clown, that does it. I hate that clown. Hmm, air conditioning, I guess. Hey, boy, you missed the party. You and the clown were having a party? No, no, last night! At the Novelty Good Salesman's Convention! I tell you, we Novelty Good Salesmen know how to have a good time! Has anyone ever told you you look like Dante Alighieri? That's strange, my wife says I look like Charles de Gaulle! So, oh, want a cigar? 
sure, we'll lay one of those Havana babies on me. Thought I was gonna blow your head off there, didn't you? Well, you were right! Shouldn't smoke, it's a bad habit. That cracks me up every time. I don't even want to touch that gum. Yikes! No use in doing that, it's empty. These models have a history of leakage. I don't think this thing will ever work again. It's really stuck to the floor. It's from George's hardware. George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. This fort couldn't pop a spit bubble, let alone a tough clown like Uzo. A horticultural horror. I can't touch it, it's spiny. There's nothing to pick up. I think I'll need a little more leverage. Hey, Ted. Talkative as ever, eh, Ted? Boy, I haven't seen you since I was here five years ago. You know, I bet you'd really like my friend Hoagie. The two of you have a lot in common. You haven't changed a whole lot. Well, I wish I had as little on my mind as you do. Oh well. Well, I'd best be on about saving the world. It's on the other side of the window. Diamond. That will be 
$2 million. Do you have a major credit card? Card? Of course I have a card. What do you think I am? Some kind of geek? Card number, please. It's, um, 1876543 Mr. List, you're dead, and as such, you're a bad credit risk. I'm sorry, it's nothing personal. Boy, the Edisons are a spectacular look. I don't want to carry those people around in my wallet. Wow, it's from my... I have three just like it at home. Always make sure they get your good side. Gee, Dr. Fred doesn't have a penny. No way! I'd be bust. No way! All done here. Bye now. Here I am. Don't get your curls in an uproar. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. Boy, what a mess. No way, I'd be bu- No way, I'd be busted for sure. Bitchin'. You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore. Making it dirtier won't help. You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. I don't wanna. I'd rather not. Franklin, Ben Franklin, soon to be known as the inventor of electricity. Uh, do you know Red Edison? He's a scientist guy, too. Red Edison? A scientist? He's just an innkeeper who pretends to be a scientist, and he's not very good at doing either one. I can't believe Washington and Jefferson picked his inn, of all places, to write our Constitution. Shouldn't you say, the discoverer of electricity? You think the ultimate power in the universe is just under some rock waiting to be discovered? Ha! Huh. I, Ben Franklin, am going to summon power from the sky by sheer force of genius! I could use a little power myself for my time machine. There will be power enough for all in time! There aren't any time machines yet anyway. That's next summer's project. How exactly are you going to do that power luring? Using one of my newest inventions. 
I like to call it the Francocopter. That's a kite, Ben. They've been around for thousands of years. Oh, sure, as toys. But this one is a letter to the gods. It says, Dear Thor, just one drop of your mighty juice in the hands of a genius like me could illuminate the entire world. Love, Ben. I hope you wrote it in Swedish so Thor can read it. Or were those guys Norwegian? I was speaking figuratively. What actually is happening is that I'm waiting for lightning to strike my kite. Aren't you missing a key or something? The key to discovery is daring intellect, my boy. Daring intellect and rigorous science. No, I mean a real key key. You mean the where the heck did I put my keys kind of key? Yeah. That's a manual device. It needs no power. Seriously, man, what are you thinking? And then what? And then the electricity charges the kite. And then what? Then the electricity travels down the string. And then what? It charges me, of course. And then what? I glow with its almighty power. And then what? I use its power to make the world a better place. And then what? The world kneels before me, asking me to guide it with my mighty benevolence. And then what? I have all annoying pests like you locked up. And then what? Shot. Oh, I see. Isn't it too sunny for lightning? Shh! I know that! I'm just trying to keep my grant going until we get a storm. Well, I'm going to back away now, just in case. Carry on! Excuse me. Yes? I've been thinking about what you said about cherry trees. Pondering the great truths, eh? Well... Would you give me a demonstration? I don't see why I should. I've been thinking about what you said about cherry trees. Pondering the great truths, eh? Well... I bet you've lost it. You couldn't cut down a tree to save your grandmother. Lost it, have I? Why, I'd show you a thing or two if there were a cherry tree nearby. But as you can see, there... Oh, huh, well, what do you know? There is a cherry tree out there. Well, let's go chop the sucker down. I said come down from there at once! Try to understand. I'm stuck in this... Voila! You're quite a man. Yes, I know.
scratch one kumquat tree. Get me out of here! I haven't done anything. Well, you must have done something or you wouldn't be here now, would you? You'd be out in the lobby with your tentacle owner getting dressed up for the human show. Owner? No one owns me. Gosh, no owner, you say? Well, don't worry about it. I'm sure someone will come adopt you before we have to put you to sleep. Damn that Dr. Fred. Hey, she knows the Edison family motto. 